Hello, it's Brad McDowell here, and today I'm going to cover the Create Crev File Helper utility that's been updated to include the Sync CPM component users that we covered in the last video. So it makes the process that we went through in the last video a lot easier, and uh, really the objective today is just to demo the Create Crev File Helper. So I'll switch over to the lab and show you that now. So here we are in the lab again, and I'll just show you in the marketplace where you can download the Privilege Cloud tools. I'll put this link in the description, but the latest version uh, at the time of recording is 15.4, and that includes the uh, Sync CPM component users that we uh, covered in the last video. This makes the process of switching CPMs from the primary to the secondary a lot faster again. So if I head over to the lab, and on Connector Server 1, I'll just repeat what we sort of did in the last lab. I'll just simply stop the CyberArk Password Manager and the Scanner Service. And then I'll head back to Connector Server 2. And on Connector Server 2, I've extracted the uh, Create Crib File Helper folder or for the packages inside all of the tools uh, that we have here. So the Create Crib File Helper is what we want. And we have the sync CPM component users folder inside that for us already downloaded. So if we open up PowerShell as admin, and I'll just zoom in a bit, and we'll type in create cred file helper.ps1. That will bring up a menu. Um, and depending on what you need to use this for, it might be to switch CPMs from well, one server to another, or you might be restoring from a backup and need to restore CPM and PSM functions. So I'll just select number one, and it will automatically detect the URL. We'll put in our credentials. And it will automatically go through the process. So it's automatically detected this, uh, the prod-cpm is offline because we, we stopped it, we simulated a uh, failure, uh, and that started. So if I go back to the system health here, we can see this is connected. And if I go back to connect to server two, I can also, I'll just clear the screen, and we'll run the script again. This time I'll select number two. And this would uh, reset the uh, credentials for the uh, PSM component users. And we'll reset the API key for PSM. So as you can see, it's done the, uh, the PSM app user and gateway user along with the API key. You can ignore this error that I have in my lab. Um, but if it, this was your environment, you'd want to investigate it. So I'll open up services. And we can see the script automatically started the, the scanner service along with the, uh, the PS, uh, sorry, the, the password manager. So I'll just stop those services and I'll just switch it back to the primary server. So back on connector server one. We'll just minimize this on connector server one and we'll open up the same package here. Create crib file helper.ps1. We'll select number one to get the CPM up and running. And just for fun, I'll do the PSM as well. And we'll reset the PSM API key. And again, we can see that the, uh, we've got an error in the PSM trace log. I know what that is, but uh, in the production environment, you would want to investigate that. And back in system health, we can see that the uh, the CPM and PSM components are connected. I'll finish the video here. I just wanted to give you an overview of the new Create Crev File Helper 
uh, feature that includes the sync CPM component users utility. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.